How's it going guys? Chris back here again with some more in store brawl. Now today we're gonna be checking out a Grun the Lonely King deck. Uh and the thought process behind this deck is Grun likes to double power. How much power can we get Grun? That's where we're at, that's the plan. Um we mulliganed our first hand just because I didn't really like the direction it went. This is not much better, but we'll keep it, I suppose. Uh, I didn't go with the uh, plus one plus one counter synergy. Like we could have gone with like a hardened scales type shell. Instead, we're actually like we're Hydra's growth style uh, deck instead. We're trying to double power as many times as possible. We have, like, unnatural growth and the Tulpa. Not the Tulpa. Uh, it's the Phyrexian of the Dominus cycle. He also starts with a Z, but he's not the Tulpa. The Tulpa is the dinosaur. Uh, what? Okay. Creepy sleeves. I get it. Yeah, I think I want to draw a card. Sad. We didn't find what we were looking for. We're just looking kind of for any early game playing. We have low to the ground stuff, but it's not yet appeared. Most of it's ramp, though, so that's another reason why we're trying to find it so desperately. We find the ramp, we get to the king quicker. And the quicker we get to the king, the better off we'll be. Uh, being against a red deck is good because it doesn't mean they'll likely have the appropriate answers to get rid of Grun, but they're also blue. So bounce is not out of the question. And we are doing nothing. Nothing at all. Please, deck. We do need you to do something. Anything, really. Sorcerer's class has leveled up again. Level three now, aren't we? Yes, we are. Uh, got nothing, opponent. You're holding up your counter spells for no reason. I guess sensor or memory lapse would be what they would have at that point, right? Like, you know, electrostatic bolt. Maybe it's just a spell. Brawl and carry Zev are good with instants. Hmm. Interesting interactions there. So I guess when you exile a adventure card off of carry Zev, you get to choose. What side of it you cast? Which I suppose makes some some degree of sense, right? Draw two discard two. There's a lot of exile stuff to cast. Then your good old Ragavan token. Right where he's always meant to be. So they could battling mystic. Virtue's probably better. Ramp but too late. Maybe we built the deck too high curve. I don't think so. Like we have Although I guess there is kind of a bit of a lopsided, right? Because we want to ideally the way the deck works is 
the early game stuff we find is ramp, and we use ramp to cast one of our, uh, not really haymakers, but one of our creatures that enter the battlefield and fights, and then the other cheap stuff, the other cheap fight spells help out in that regard. Didn't quite work out this time, so we'll see. Like, this is better. This is, this is all I could have hoped for, honestly. Keep. I was doubting there for a second. I was, I was doubting. But this will get me to, uh, Ulvald Hydra. Ulvald? Uvenwald Hydra quickly, which I like. Next turn we can Spring Bloom Druid and then Harrow and like, we're, we'll get there. Like ramping will happen. Yeah, next turn we'll be able to double ramp. So we'll be able to Harrow and Rejuvenator. Our goal is getting to nine mana, right? So it's, uh, it's gotta be expected that we Do we just put a Hydra out? I think we just put a Hydra out. This is ramp that will also just get us uh, a Nykthos for future. And it discourages Muriel from swinging and making a bunch of soldiers. That tends to be what Muriel does and it's never good when you only have like a couple of dorky elves on the battlefield to uh, dissuade her. So we are going to harrow. We'll sacrifice one of our tap lands. We get two more. We'll then reclaim her. Hmm. And we'll give Old Hydra the double. See if our opponent is interested in taking 16. They are. Okay. Fair enough. We are very nearly out of action. Uh, I actually will keep Spring Bloom around. I don't mind taking three. Uh, I think we go Dominus. I think we go Dominus. Um, and just swing with the team again. I think Flump dies. And our opponent takes four. We each draw a card. Uh, and then we pass the turn. Choose your weapon. Doubles power and toughness. Very, very cool. GG. All right. Into game two. A little strange pause there. But today my foot fell asleep. I was sitting on it and uh, had to go go for a little walk, reset the legs. Um, so I just paused and came back later. It's a reasonable plan if you ever find yourself in such a situation. Uh, I liked our opening hand. I did not think about Earth. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't have many problems with us. Adama could be good in the right circumstances. Uh, I don't know if we're going to find those circumstances given our current hand. It is a little buff. Hmm. But I think we... Heart. And uh, we have this fight that. Mm. 
And we'll stay back for blocking. I wonder if they will attack in. I wouldn't, but... Oh, well, now there's no reason not to. Oh, crap. They legend ruled themselves. I do it all the time, opponent. I do it all the time. Uh, let's get some lands. Next turn, we'll get some more lands. That's basically the plan of the deck. We find all of the lands, and then we, we double our grun. And our grun being doubled is how we win. I don't know, it's just kind of inconsistent between... Uh, between Wizards' printings of recent... Uh, Recent clone effects that sometimes they add in the legendary matters, doesn't matter cloth, and then sometimes they don't, and it's like, well, which is it, wizards? Can I copy my legends or can I not copy my legends? Why does it cost four to copy my legend sometimes and sometimes it doesn't? Why does it seem like it's a blue ability, but it sometimes appears on red cards? Like, I don't know, man. There's a lot of internal inconsistency there. I don't know. Wizards say they play test, right? But it's a little hard to believe at some point. I bet they do, but... Like... How data-driven are their, uh, are their tests? I want to know. I can't believe it's that. that. Uh, gonna go kick a grun. I guess I'll play a rock on the back of it. The next turn I can search my library for uh, 10 basic lands, basically. <laughs> to, uh, to double my mana. Rude. Don't you dare. They never believe me, man. I think we can still pull off a reasonable... A reasonable go at it. Hmm. Eight basic lands, please. We have the most lands. That much is true. Opponent might be killing us next turn, but... Look at that. Seventeen of them. What can you do against that opponent, huh? Well, that does, that does do some things. GG. And as a ramp player, I don't understand the outcome. How could I have lost with 17 lands on the battlefield? It just doesn't make any sense. Must be a bug, honestly. GG. Reprobation. Uh, re yeah, I think that's what it says. Not a word I'm extremely familiar with, but... Hmm. I think I quieted it down for a second because the dishwasher has, uh, has finished its cycle for the evening. And uh, as a result, you know, it, it does a beep, and I'm pretty sure uh, that it only picks up audio. It is far enough away that uh, 
you wouldn't be able to tell unless I was talking. I like the trash truck. Wait times have been high. Uh, we've given like 30 second wait times. That's unusual. Although like it's it's the last week before a new set arrives, so I can see people uh, doing other things in the meantime and not uh, not devoting time to game metas that are imminently about to change, right? Like that's that's basically where we're at, right? Now I I'm not sure exactly how much we're gonna see as far as change goes, but we might see a little bit. I'm hopeful that something will change. Whether it's uh, some cool new stuff in Historic Brawl that makes the format a little bit more interesting, or some cool stuff in Standard, like, eh, I don't know. Old Wizards has had a bit of a hard time as of late, so. I am sympathetic, I suppose. Even though I know I probably shouldn't be. A lot of the most recent unpopular changes uh, on Arena in particular have been like like Watsi uh, Watsi's greedy practices slash oversaturation of the market, right? Like that's basically where it's at. And it's uh, a little bit like shooting them in the foot. Where, oh, I'm betting we're getting a counter spell. No, we didn't. Okay, well, maybe a wrath. Rude. Could have done that afterwards. Saruman. We don't have enough mana to fight an old man. I will not let the fairy ultimate. Like, that's not going to happen. I think we go with the safer choice. One of the dogs has to die. It's sad, I know, but... It's what Teferi would have wanted, honestly. He's not a cool guy. Ouch. Well, that's bad. Discover the formula. That might just be a legitimately good card. Is it? Six mana is expensive. We get a one mana discount on pretty much all your other cards. I need something with Trample. Opponent? That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Uh, well, that's not going to work. Oh, it does. Never mind. Rude opponent. The control deck is out of control. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I don't know. I have a very love-hate relationship with Control. On the one hand, I love it in the regards that it's a different way to play the game. And that in order for a formula for uh, formats to be healthy, you have to be able to approach them in a variety of different ways, right? Like, that's 
just a necessary part of the game. And I even like playing control. Like, it's, it can be fun to, like, try to control the pace of the game as it goes along. But I can see why people complain about control, because... When it, uh... Yeah, I don't have it this time. GG. Ah! No, that's rough. When you're sitting across from the table from it, and it takes your opponent like 40 turns to kill you, like that is... That's not fun. Like, his opponent will kill us in two turns. That's pretty reasonable. Uh, but there is no, there is no tacit agreement in playing control that you have to be responsible with your opponent here. I guess they're going to take three turns. Not that it matters too much. The result will be the same. Got me some knuckles. Yeah, we'll give we'll give Elvish Rejuvenator a pair of brass knuckles. He's a bit of a mean dude. He's got this. Yeah, it's just a little bit frustrating sometimes. Although, like, recently, recently Magic hasn't really had that stable of diversity in formats, right? Like, generally, generally in a format, uh, well, I don't want to say generally in a format, generally in the formats we have here on Arena, if a deck is the top deck, Uh, there's no way this actually happens. It happens. What? Really? It doesn't make much sense, but sure. Yeah, I don't have anything. Well, I actually do. I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, I didn't think it would happen, but... Ooh. That was a ward payment right there. Ward 10. I think we're done. GG. That was rough. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.